people, people chowing down. We're still lost. We don't really have a leader. Uh, my favorite speaker was Chris Michael. Uh, my favorite speaker was definitely Chris Michael from, uh, well he had originally started Military.com and he was now moving on to another company. Favorite speaker was probably Chris Michael from Military.com. He was, uh, he was really inspirational and it was, you could easily see it throughout everyone that was on the trip. After that presentation, everyone was just ready to go on and start doing things. I mean, he just really you know, hit it home with um, you know, his experience in starting up military.com and just in general, um, just entrepreneurial lifestyle and, and what you need to do to you know, be successful. I mean, I think he, he was very honest and very direct, and uh, I like that. I like that uh, about his presentation. Right? Because what it's all about is creating. What it's all about is it being your thing. I'm not saying your first job to be, is to be a CEO. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Some of, some of his uh, words of wisdom uh, stuck with me more than I think any other, any other one of the speakers. Uh, things like uh, being able to, uh, if you can make your employees feel like uh, what they're doing for you really matters, then they'll do anything for you. I think for me, it must have been Syed Amidi and Max Levchin of PayPal. Saeed, who's the CEO from Plug and Pay, Play, he came and talked to us and he told us a story about how he failed a bunch of times and it's this guy is the CEO of this huge um, incubator. And, he's and then by coincidence, I made a mistake in one of my offers. I sold the product to a first time buyer in Saudi Arabia. He thought he bought something 15% cheaper than he should have because I didn't add the freight. And I thought, my God, it's my first transaction in my life. It was $400,000, and I was celebrating for a week till I did my calculations, and I realized I'm going to lose $50,000. I think Max Levchin had a slightly different, um, kind of like a ground-up approach. I think there were basically three attributes of a, of a successful entrepreneur. And uh, what you really need to know is that you need to have an entrepreneur who's passionate, an entrepreneur that knows what he's doing, and an entrepreneur that's very, very persistent. It was probably the best workshop or conference or anything along those lines that I've ever done.